Hi everyone, I'm Mania G. Today's video, I'm going to be doing an Ego Official Designer Sandal Unboxing. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And leave a comment down below if you like the sandals, if you like Ego Official, and any other hauls you would like to see. If you don't know, Ego Official is an online shoe boutique. They also sell some accessories like purses, they sell tights, but they sell sandals, heels, um, they sell slippers, they sell super cute sneakers, everything that's trending in style, they have it. They have all types of hot and popping shoes at affordable prices. So today I got two pairs of sandals. I have the Chanel Dad Sandal Lookalikes and the Louis Vuitton Revival Flat Mules. Um, not replicas or anything. They're just shoes that look similar to the original design. Steve Madden's got their own addition to the sandals. Um, I've seen a bunch of other fashion designers come up with their own addition of these sandals, but let's get right into it. I didn't have any white or black sandals, which is so strange. So I decided to get a pair of white and a pair of black and let's get into it. Um, I ordered these on a Wednesday and they came the next Friday. So it only took about a week. The shipping is is shipping all the way from the UK so the shipping usually takes about a week but I never have any problems like they just come deliver the stuff they send shipping confirmation all that stuff in no time it's really fast all right so here are the dad sandals they came in this white box the box is like a little bit beat up and it's just plain but let's get into the shoe here they are this is a size 39. I usually get my sandals in a size 8. Unless I don't have it, then I'll just get stick with a 7.5 because I like my sandals to be comfortable. But here they are. Giving very much dad cookout sandals. They're not as structured as the Chanel's and they don't have the Chanel decal because this is Ego. It's their own thing. But they have the strap on the back the velcro strap on the back and these two velcros i actually think the chanel um the chanel sandals i think they come with snaps and not velcro but i'm i'm not sure but yeah, here they are it's like a leather material obviously it's not real leather and then they have the silver designs they're cute like these are very much casual and then the bottom is flat like this they actually kind of look a little bit big but i don't really mind and then they have the impression where the toes go but obviously with the straps you can just tighten them if they don't fit if they're too big i believe the chanel sandals are like 1600 to 2000 and i've seen like the steve madden's are like 60 and then like the other types like there's a Karl Lagerfeld um, version that I saw on Saks and they were like $200 so I stuck with this I believe they were maybe like $30 less than $30 I don't know everything will be listed and linked down below check out my links if you plan on buying these sandals use my links but yeah so here's the first one and I like that they're wrapped in the paper well the plastic so here's the next one so if you're traveling you can easily just put your shoes in this bag if you don't have somewhere that you put your shoes like in your suitcase and it comes with this to hold the shape although it really doesn't have much shape to it but these look very comfortable like the bottom it's like hard but it's not too hard to the point where it's going to be like you're standing on a board so I can easily see this becoming like my everyday type sandal. Here are the dad sandals. Immediately I noticed that this leather is scratched. Um, with Ego, their returns are actually kind of complicated and it kind of deters you from wanting to return things. So yeah, I might just have to thug it out. Here's them from the side. You can see what I'm saying about the material. I honestly, I feel like if I wore these like every single day, although I don't typically go out every single day, I feel like I'd wear them in, especially if I wore them on vacation, but that's like a good thing for me. And I think that they would last like a while. They look good. Here they are on my feet. 
Um, I could have gone down with a half size, but I don't even remember if they had half sizes. It's just that half sizes are kind of iffy on my feet. And actually, I feel like I knew that because I ordered a size seven and a half boots from Ego in the winter, and they were a bit big, but they fit with my thick warm yeah, socks. They could have been a little bit bigger and they do have the scratch. Just honestly not noticeable on my feet and I want you to be that close to your feet anyway, really. Um but yeah they're giving what they said they could gain. You know, they're doing they're doing something for me. I like them. They're cute. Very casual. So here is the white so here are the white mules. They're come here are the white mules. They come in this ego official box. It's really cute, actually, and super sleek. So you can see the sizing right here. The style is Sadie Color White, UK 6, US 8, European 39. I got them in a 39, which is 8 US. And yeah, so let's open it. They're wrapped up. So cute. I don't know why they have different boxes. I don't really know. When I get shoes, like I got a pair of boots from Ego, and they came in a box and i bought a pair of um the wannabe ugg slides a few months ago and i think that they just came like as themselves so yeah but here they are they're wrapped up they come in the little mesh bags and here it is all right the bottom says like the alphabet i don't really know what that's about but it's very clean the toe is like a little bit different than the original louis vuitton print but it does have a similar print to the louis vuitton it's actually like different i'll show you guys a picture like for comparison but here this is the ego shoe and then it says the ego logo and here's the bottom so it has like a teeny tiny heel so it's really not doing much and then here is this to hold the shape of the shoe and then here's like the inside of the shoe it's not like too soft not too hard or anything and then yeah it's very cute it's like very classy and calm and clean and i love that like yeah these are very simple like these are very dressy but like these are very dressy but like without trying too hard which is what I was going for I didn't have any white sandals but I'm so excited that I do now because I feel like they'll just go with everything like and I've been loving my this summer if you guys have been seeing keeping up with my recent hauls I've been talking a lot about white and I'm not I don't typically gravitate towards white clothing but there's something about it this season I'm seeing it everywhere and I'm loving how it looks on me so that's what I'm going for and here's the next one so far so good like no flaws no nothing and here they are they're very pretty i wanted them in pink but pink was sold out it was like a bright bubblegum pink like it was deeper than a bubblegum pink like it was like this shade and honestly if i got pink sandals i don't really believe that i would wear them as much like I love pink and I have pink sneakers I have shoes with pink in them I have pink bags but I really don't think that I would be wearing a pink sandal very often with my summer sandals I have a lot of tans a lot of neutral colors a lot of greens so now I finally have a white I finally have a black and yeah so this is gonna be like my quick little brunch go-to um, I think I'm going to be doing a summer outfit ideas video, so stay tuned for that and you will definitely be seeing these. Now I'm going to give you guys some close-ups. Okay, so here they are. Very clean. This is like a, well, it doesn't feel as cloud-like as I thought, but here is the print. It's not exact to Louis Vuitton, which is great, but it's still very cute and chic. And... Yeah, it's giving what they said it was supposed to give. I love them. And then here is the bottom. Has the size sticker. And here is the alphabet. I don't know why it has the alphabet on it. Here they are. Very cute. I love the gold decal, although no one's going to see them. They seem to be stitched. 
very well. I don't see any of the seams popping. That's a piece of my hair right there. And this is more close up. These I'm absolutely obsessed with. I cannot wait to wear them. They're so freaking cute. And they fit my feet perfectly. See, they're the exact same size, but they're built different and shaped differently. So they fit my feet differently and they're the same size. I just love the decals on the shoe. I love Louis Vuitton. I have two Louis Vuitton bags already and this actually goes with my most recent one. I mean, they're white, so it could go with either one. But, oh my gosh, so cute. I'm so happy that I was able to get, I was able to get these sandals without like breaking bank. You know what I mean? They're so freaking adorable. Like. These are gonna definitely be my go-to's. Um, hopefully the pink comes back in stock because I would definitely get them. I believe these were only $22. So like, who am I hurting by having two of these? These are definitely my faves. You guys can see my tattoo. But oh my gosh, I cannot wait to style and wear these and take cute aesthetic pictures. Like, wow, they're gorgeous definitely a little different than the original of course because this is their own edition but still super stylish all right so now that i've tried on both shoes you guys can obviously tell that the whites have my heart i love the black they're more casual more everyday day to day and these are more you know going out effortlessly cute although i do not like wearing sandals when i go out in new york like if you know you know these are great summer sandal options make sure you guys check these shoes out before they sell out if you have gotten a version of the chanel dad sandals from somewhere else let me know down below in the comments where and your thoughts of them because i would be open to trying them in a different color from somewhere else i know i've seen them at public desire i've seen them in a bunch of other places so let me know what you guys are thinking love these um they're both the same size they're both 39 i typically range between a seven and a half and eight in women these fit perfectly these are a little bit bigger these also have this little scratch ego official shoes are good quality whenever i purchase from them if the return policy wasn't so annoying to go through i probably would just ship them back i wish they did have a store a physical store i'm sure they do wherever they're originally located in europe that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the shoes um check out my other hauls and unboxings i have plenty and let me know what else you guys would like to see from me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video